And I heard Nikki today said, well, yeah, I lost two. No, she lost four because she lost the Virgin Islands, which she tried like hell to get. We won that, too. A lot of people don't know that. But then we went to Nevada. All right, we're continuing monitoring of the president's remarks, and I need no offense to him, or some of you might want to continue hearing, but I did have to say that uh, even though the former president is entitled to his opinions, he's, he's not entitled to his own set of facts. Hey! Furthermore, he mentioned about gas prices out of whack, $6 a gallon. The national average right now is $3.20. Went on to talk about the uh, 2020 election and how that was rigged. Uh, this has been adjudicated many, many times, dozens of times. Donald Trump lost each and every one of those states. Stop! He's already dead. Not entitled to his own set of facts. Ain't that the truth. Shared rarely on Fox News, but when it does happen, you know the Mar-a-Lago walls will be lathered in ketchup. Mr. Trump gave it yet another groggy but profoundly racist speech yesterday. Good. These lights are so bright in my eyes that I can't see too many people out there. But uh, I can only see the black ones. I can't see any white ones, you see. That's how far I've come. That's how far I've come. That's a long, that's a long way, isn't it? These eyes. <laughs> uh, we've come a long way together. Lynn Patton. And then I got indicted a second time and a third time and a fourth time. And a lot of people said that that's why the black people like me, because they have been hurt so badly and discriminated against. And they actually viewed me as I'm being discriminated against. Yes, that is the current GOP frontrunner claiming that black people will resonate with him because he's a criminal. Can you get more insulting? Do you, do you really think that people like you because you were indicted, because there is some suggestion that's being made here that people see themselves in you? He's just like me. I, too, have been indicted. That discrimination and all that accompanies it can be reduced to what your experience has been. I guess stereotypes might be the new platform here. Forget a family man. Forget a businessman. Forget actual policies you might hold and want to put out into the universe. No, be, you must like me because you too have had a run in with the law. Well, why isn't that the pitch for all voters, right? He has said that he is the outsider, the consummate outsider outside the establishment. Why is think that only appeals maybe, or that's why black voters like you? That is his final pitch in the wee small hours of the morning to voters at least hours before the polls open in South Carolina. To which you have to say, what the Friday is this? But as he pivoted to more lies and disinformation, would you believe Fox News of all networks opted to cut away from him to provide a disclaimer regarding said lies and disinformation? And I heard Nikki today said, well, yeah, I lost two. No, she lost four because she lost the Virgin Islands, which she tried like hell to get. We won that too. A lot of people don't know that. But then we went to Nevada. All right, we're continuing monitoring of the president's remarks, and I need no offense to him, or some of you might want to continue hearing, but I did have to say that uh, even though the former president is entitled to his opinions, he's, he's not entitled to his own set of facts. The market has indeed been going up, but having nothing to do with him and everything to do with this aggressive cut in interest rates uh, or does a hiking in interest rates and stabilized inflation, and of course the whole uh, artificial intelligence phenomenon that has benefited NVIDIA and a host of companies that are making money hand over fist. So that uh, whether you want to give Biden credit for that it has nothing to do with Donald Trump. Furthermore, he mentioned about gas prices out of whack, six dollars a gallon. The national average right now is three dollars twenty six uh, cents a gallon. He went on to talk about the uh, twenty. 20 election and how that was rigged. Uh, this has been adjudicated many, many times, dozens of times. It's been investigated uh, by everyone and his uncle. No fewer than 44 investigations launched, some of them by judges that were uh, picked by Donald Trump himself that found no evidence of that in the seven battleground states where most of them were focused. Donald Trump lost each and every one of those states and no facts or no hit. But wait, there is more. Just when I thought I'd seen it all, even further down Fascist Avenue, hanging a far right on Bigoted Lane, major MAGA network Newsmax opted to do a similar thing. Never get tired of that guy. Uh, the president mentioned in his speech the 2020 elections, Newsmax as a network believes the results were legal and final. Greta's coming up next, stick around.
Could it be the smell of $787 million lawsuits in the air? Or could it be that even the furthest right networks understand that rehashing already debunked conspiracy theories over and over again is a losing strategy? Let's restrain that bureaucracy. And I think that'll be better for markets, better for Trump, better for Americans, better for prosperity. We just need Republicans to lead. But our, uh, Republicans are not leading, and no offense to you, sir. I mean, you guys look like the Keystone yeah. cops. You can't agree on anything. And I, yeah. there's now everyone wants, you know, the speaker's head. I don't know where you stand on that. But to add insult to injury, then, the president comes out to say on the border he's got some ideas ahead of his State of the Union address where he might take executive actions, executive orders, maybe undoing some of the ones that he signed the day he became President, now some of your colleagues are going after him and say you can't do that, even though they said you have the power to do this. So he is going to do this. It's confusing because he said he wasn't going to do it. I'm just wondering, um, is he getting the better of you on the PR front? Not that that should matter, but it, it, it seems to matter. But sure, go on and tell me how Biden needs to alter his campaign strategy. If I'm Biden and I'm looking at this, Jessica, I, I'm very pleased with my fundraising. I'm pleased yeah. with my mail-in vote operation in the midterms. I'm pleased with my TikTok social media operation. <laughs> but I'm not pleased with the enthusiasm of the Trump base. They are going to show up, and that is what would make me nervous. Yeah, but they showed up in 2020 and, and Trump lost. <laughs> Since the anomaly of 2016, everything Trump has touched has turned into a giant L. Let yeah. me do this. Donald Trump lost in 2017, oh, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, and last night. Wow. Okay. But yet he continues to brag about how he oversaw the most unpopular policy decisions in America. Dark action to protect the unborn like nobody has ever done. Nobody has ever done it. Thank you. Freedom of worship does not end at the door at a public school. And I supported school prayer, very important school prayer, which we forced unfortunately had to force into some schools it should be very easy you would think it would be very easy but it wasn't but we did it which when shared on fox allowed for this pushback from jessica tala donald trump gave us a preview of the final push he was speaking last night talked about getting rid of roe how everyone's happy about that we know from all of the turnout in the special elections that that is not true forcing school prayer something hugely unpopular. You can talk about migrants streaming you down Stake Mountain. You can Hold on. No, you're talking the, about you want to win the election, right? You right. don't want to just win the primary. January Sixers are hostages. No, the hostages are in Jessica, Gaza. And the Department of Education Jessica, being whittled down to one person all due respect, to ensure we all speak English. In all due respect, you know, the, the talk that you bring up has not worked. I mean, you look at every national poll, minus Quinnipiac, President Trump is prevailing in them. Then why is, is he, why is President Biden down just 1.9 points in the real clear politics average? The cherry picking but polls when it is so... He he needs within the margin of error to be higher. Higher. And Barack Obama was down five he's to Mitt Romney. Why is I was President Romney. I don't remember he his administration a, at needs, all. He needs a reset. He knows it. The State of the Union is supposed to be the reset. We will see okay. that is the reset Steak that he Mountain. needs. I can't wait to visit. I would advise changing the rhetoric. <laughs> Hasn't worked, reset the language. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.